Your latest head coaching job was with the Sacramento Kings. And I guess uh, something that really marked your time there was your relationship with the Marcus Cousins. Sorry, I have to ask you this. I know everybody you know, uh, wants to hear about this. Can you just talk more about the Marcus and um, what is it that you don't like about him? <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing I would bring to the table on Mark, the Marcus is he has negative energy. And when things go wrong, he has powerful nigger energy. When the game, I mean, the NBA has a flow, has up, you're, up, you're, you're playing good, you're playing at, and then you go to the bottom. And you got to be able to persevere through the tough times. And um, I love him as a player. He's not a bad guy. He's a good guy, smart guy, has good basketball IQ. And I'm, I'm hoping he figures out his career. You know, I mean, he's been trying to play on a winning team and he's gotten hurt these last couple of years, uh, Golden State. And then, of course, now I think it was with the Lakers two years ago. Um, I, ho I hope he gets healthy and hope I, I hope he can figure a chance of playing maybe with a championship team. Um, but, you know, as I said before, there are coach players – there are a lot of players coming in different, different, different packages. And Mello was difficult. Mello, you know, you know, played the blame and shame game way too much. In the NBA, if you play the blame and shame game, negative energy, and your locker room is going to be a little bit crazy. Um, pointing fingers doesn't win games. Trusting, and trusting the team and pointing the finger at yourself wins games. Um, and I never figured, I, you know, I didn't figure it out. You know, the organization out there didn't want to give me the influence. Um, they didn't want to listen to my thoughts on how to build my team or our team. And I'm not saying that's good or bad or indifferent. The other places I've been, I had tremendously more influence, but in Sacramento, they, they closed that door and just said, go coach. Mm -hmm. And I think more and more NBA teams are going that way. You know, more and more NBA coaches don't have a lot of input. Their job is to go coach uh, what, what we bring to you. I don't think that's the way it should be. I think, I think organizations got to be a team. They got to work together. They got to trust each other. They got to believe in each other. My opinion might not agree, be agree. You might not agree with my opinion, but we got to trust each other. And I'm not sure that was happening out in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. 